Nebraska has won its second national championship. The Huskers 13-0. And this was a team that was a dynasty in the 90s. They haven't had sustained success in quite some time. Well, every program goes through ups and downs. Uh, even the best have down cycles. You get the right people back in place, and you have a chance to recapture some of the greatness. And we've been sold out for 50 plus years, and I, I think that streak would have gone if Scott had not come back. The 30th head football coach at the University of Nebraska, Scott Frost. So who's a bigger rock star, Stanley Morgan Jr. or Scott Frost? Scott Frost. <laughs> he's a bigger rock star. I mean, he's a great quarterback here. You know, he won the championship. Well, everybody always talks about uh, 94, 95, 97. Having a guy that was a part of it and pretty much ran the whole thing as quarterback, it's insane. They keep playing. Scott Frost, and he'll score another touchdown. We show people who the best team in the country is. There's no question. I don't know if there's anybody else in football that can list Bill Parcells, Bill Belichick, Coach Osborne, uh, Coach Walsh, Coach Gruden, right on down the line. What's that meant to you, Scott? It probably meant I was an average player. <laughs> uh, I didn't have as good an NFL career as I would have liked to as a player. Uh, but for the sake of my coaching career, it allowed me to touch a lot of, of great people in this profession. I want to ask you about last year at the end of the season. You coached that bowl game, and most coaches who take a job sort of cut and leave. It was important to you not to do that. It would have gone against everything that we've been preaching for two years to abandon them right then. What a season for UCF. Perfection. It would have been hard to leave UCF unless the situation was right. And a lot of things changed around here. Some of the leadership changed. I think there's more people in the athletic department now that think the way we think to try to make this a winner. The one thing I did tell him, having done what he did here as a player, having been from the state, people here are going to give him probably a little more time, a little bit more encouragement, and uh, be behind him. Scott, how, how will you modify your system for the Big Ten? I'm hoping the Big Ten has to modify their system for us. <laughs> What has been Coach Frost's stamp on this team to this point? I would say competitiveness. He's super high energy. He's always intense, you know, and that's that's awesome for us as players. We go so fast. It's an amazing tempo. It's different from what Nebraska traditional uh, offense is. You have to make progress in the offseason from a speed and strength standpoint. More than anything, I want to see the passion come back. I didn't feel that right away when I got back. All those things have slowly gotten better, and I, I like the trajectory we're on. When you come back to your alma mater the way Scott did, all the expectations and all the pressure, he seemed to handle that very well. People always talk about the native son and all that stuff. He hasn't made it about himself. You know, he's been completely selfless uh, since the minute he got here. He feels the responsibility. He feels the weight of 1.8 million people really counting on him. But I think he's done a, to do a great job. Well, growing up in Nebraska, I was able to see firsthand that from the car dealer in Grand Island to the guy walking the bean fields in Northeast Nebraska, those people stand for integrity and hard work and caring about your neighbor and putting needs of other people ahead of yourself. And I want our football program to reflect that.